So good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to install and somewhat use Pinocchio browser. Technically, this is gonna be the link pinocchio.computer, and I'm currently inside their landing page. So just a quick reminder, this is a browser. It's a virtual computer inside your system. And that being said, it's actually safe to use, so you don't have to worry about changing anything within your PC, maybe a Windows or Mac. So let's try clicking download right there. And once you click on this button, you'll have these options. So you, it's available with Windows, M1 and M2 Mac, Intel Mac, or Linux. For now, I'm going to click on Windows. And then step one, download. It's really user-friendly. So click the download Pinocchio for Windows. As you see right there, we're going to download it. And then we're going to unzip it to download file, and you will see an Excel file installer. So let's try doing that as per the instruction. So let's try unzipping. Extract files here. Let me just click on that one. I'm going to go for desktop for it's easier to find. And then that being said, what does it say for step two? Look for the exe file. So go back to desktop and this is going to be it. And then stripe three, run the installer file and you will be presented with the following Windows warning. So I'm just going to run this up. And it's going to be installing as of now. Let's just wait for it to finish. So welcome back, it just loaded up for I think a minute or two after clicking that exe file. Right now, this is what I'm seeing. So version 0.27 and this is going to be the landing page or rather location path file. It's going to be installed by default on C, you can adjust this later on or you can adjust it as of now. It's really up to you guys. So the team line, I'm going to go for dark here and then click on save. Now while it's saving, this will take around 2 minutes to 5 minutes. I don't want to waste your time here so... I'm going to get back to you once it's done updating. So after installing, it took around a minute or two, and this is what I'm seeing right now. So visit this cover page, let's try it out. And once right there, let me just click on full screen. And these are the application you can try inside Pinocchio. So for example, I want to use this. Let me just look for that audio, or rather remix AI um, creation. This one right here, Audio All DM2. Click on this one. However, as you can see right there, it's going to be NVIDIA GPU only. So since I don't have an NVIDIA, I have an AMD, I am not applicable for this one. I'm going to go back and then look for a specific um, audio enhancer tool that I'm capable of. So since I don't want to waste your time, I'm just going to go with this one and click on download. As you can see right there, this is going to be inside my browser still. It's not going to be outside of Pinocchio, it's going to be inside my browser. So let me just go back to Pinocchio and then look for another application while installing the earlier one. So for example, I want to use Stable Diffusion Web UI right there. Click on Download. The site is trying to open Pinocchio. Of course, it's OK. Click on Open. So again, guys, I want to highlight we've just successfully installed Pinocchio here. So installation required, not installed over this and click on Install. So we've just successfully installed Stable Division Web User Interface, and this is how it should look like. So you have two options, you can install Stable Diffusion Excel, or the one of the Diffusion 1.5. It's really up to you which path file you choose from here, but for now, click on the name itself. And with this, you can simply check on the folders. You can download the extension here and on, you can edit it here and on. Um, some additional information that you want to take in here is going to be if you click configure right there, you'll see on this option, the Python, the Git, the Ven, even the API, everything is here that you want to take note of. So you don't need to use Python exclusively or individually. You don't need to use Git individually and so on with the API. Also, if you want to click save, simply click on that one and you're good to go. And by the way, guys, once you're here, for example, you're having problems with the specific 1111, simply click on discover. And this is the list. Imagine it as a Microsoft Store of all the things or platform you can use. As you can see right there, this is the one we're using earlier, right? For example, it's not properly working. There is another option though. If you scroll down here, you'll see this one-click launcher for automatic 1111. Just simply install this one and you're good to go. Just make sure you have enough memory or um, RAM or even space on your computer to proceed. It's quite a lot and it's taking quite some time. Uh, but after that one, just a little bit of sacrifice and you're good to go. And that being said, that's how we install Pinocchio and how to use it. Install a specific application inside Pinocchio. 
So thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.